Hey guys, what's up? It's me. So, more on the comma for the next section, part two, is filled with lots and lots of kicks. There's three, and they're not the easiest kicks. So, I'm going to teach you those real quick in this video. The first thing I want you to do is put your weapons down somewhere else so you do not have to worry about running into them, tripping on them, or anything like that. Our first kick is a butterfly crescent kick. So to start with a butterfly crescent, I want you to start off in a right nature bow. You're going to look to nine, to six, and to back to 12, or start with three. You're going to lift your left leg, and I want you to practice this hop first to switch your legs. So the next part of the butterfly crescent is to turn all the way around, and now you're going to execute the kick. So after you have that leg lifted, instead of just hopping, you're going to push off with this leg and do an inward crescent kick. If you don't know what an inward crescent kick looks like, real quick, it's bringing your foot inwards, hitting with the inside of your foot, and landing. So going all the way through it, at the speed I normally do, it's going to look like that. And then even more so, with commas, we're actually starting from this position. But you're doing the same execution and kicking towards the front. So the next kick we're going to talk about is called an axe kick. And we're going to start with our right leg and back this time. And then what we're going to do is bring that up into a chamber, bring it all the way up here, and pull it down. Letting gravity use the force to bring it down, and that is the momentum of this kick. That is the act kick. Looks pretty much the same with commas or without. Try not to do that. You want to keep your guards up, but if you have your commas, your hands are likely going to be down here, and you're going to be kicking, and that's that. So, the third kick in this form, and in my personal opinion, probably the most difficult, is the hop jump outward spinning crescent, which looks like this. So if we start with our outward crescent, you're bringing it out and around instead of in and around like an inward crescent. That's the difference between the two. This is going outwards, and this is inwards. So for a spin, outward crescent, we look over our shoulder like we would with the butterfly, and throw the kick. And if you want to, you can add in the jump. So it looks kind of like that. And that is the jump outward crescent. I'd say, since you're going from straight from the axe kick to that jump outward crescent, if you want, you can just do the spinning outward crescent for the form because not everyone's going to be able to do that jump outward crescent kick. Another kick that is in this form is a hop jump front kick. So what we're going to do is start with the right leg forward. If we bring our left leg up, this is kind of that momentum that we need to then get up and throw our front kick out. So again, hop. that is the hop jump front kick. The final kick in this video, and the final kick in the form, is a jump front kick. For a jump front, which looks like that, you're gonna kinda need to bend your knees and push off with the balls of your foot like you're doing calf raises or calf jumps. And if you do both, you get a significant amount of air. And the last step there is to kick your front leg forward and your rear leg back. So a jump front kick looks like that. And those are all the kicks in the comma form. Practice at your own time, get those down, feel comfortable with them, and then maybe try them with weapons in your hands. So that's
that's it for the video on the kicks in the comic form. Thank you very much for watching. I hope this helped. And I will see you next week.